Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back, happy trading. All right, so every single trader I know has one thing in mind. How do I make more money? Let's talk about how do you actually reach that goal? What's the strategy? How do you accomplish it? If everybody has the same goal, why do some traders obtain it consistently? And why do some of them don't? So let's think about it. How do you increase your P&L when trading? What I tell people is if you don't have a consistent way to identify when in trades, you'll never have a consistent way to locate and generate income. So have you watched or subscribed to Private Profits YouTube yet? Not yet? Make sure you click that button. All right. Let's take a look at the market today. Jerome Powell uh, back in the headlines, back in the news. Another day to trade the Fed. So let's look at what happened. NVIDIA sold off completely today. Just went crazy. I got in early. Seen another slow bleed. Got back in around here. And let me tell you and identify why I was able to get into this trade. So I shorted it at the open. I bought puts at the open when it broke VWAP here. Tested. Broke. Big red candle. So I look for blue line to orange line. Went from blue line to the orange line. One minute VWAP, multi-day VWAP. Came down, multi-day, bounced back up, reversal, back to the VWAP. Did it again, reversal. This green candle, fake out. Had everybody thinking, hey, bullish, let's go long. I got faked out myself. But quickly got back out. And here I noticed it breaking back below the VWAP. Never recovered. Broke this level right here. Low of the day. You see that big candle just selling off. And it just never recovered. So we look into the pre market. Kind of just sideways, a little lift off here. Broke the VWAP in the pre market. So NVIDIA is down 8% right now, monster trade. Right now I am up, let me tell you what I'm up. I'm holding this until the end of the day. 90% on NVIDIA, 165 put, paid 72 cents for it. It is now worth a dollar and 48 cents. No wait, excuse me. That is my QQQ put. The NVIDIA put, 165 put, Paid 43 cents for it is now worth 82 cents. All right. $351. I think I'm going to close that trade out. And close out. All right. NVIDIA, 80% closing out. Let's take another look. Q's. Monster sell off on the Q's today. Whole market is just in shambles. Uh, wow. Let's look at that. Just look at that thing. That's pretty much the same chart pattern. Uh, as Nvidia. Same pattern. How do you like that one? All right. Same thing happened here. Let's make. Let me make sure. Let's go back Nvidia. You can see. Same exact pattern. Go back to the cues. Same exact pattern. Drop. Blue line to orange line. Pivot. Back up. Fake out. Break below the VWAP. Break that critical point here. Lows of the day. Big red candle. So these charts, same exact correlation. Interesting, interesting. But I am holding a $311 put. Right now we're at 309. I think I got back in somewhere around here. And it's perfect timing it's just to get into everything. You see this break, break down right here, you know? So all these levels are significant now. I'm going to map them out. Make sure I map them out. 
And now my put is worth borrowed at 72 cents is now worth a hundred I mean a dollar and fifty six cents a hundred and sixteen percent return uh, for a total of three hundred and thirty six dollars I'm gonna close out on that awesome and let's take a look at one more name that I've just been infatuated with for all summer Exxon, XOM, been loving Exxon. Beautiful, a lot of volatility in Exxon this morning. It gave paydays both ways. Calls this morning, got you paid. Puts, breaking the VWAP, got you paid. Coming back up, breaking the VWAP, got you paid. Then the big sell off, breaking VWAP, I got in here again. Monster move to the downside. 99 all the way to 97.87. Just destroyed Exxon. And then, of course, usually when Exxon starts to rally until the end of the day, it tends to do this move again. It'll just start slowly, just slipping back up to the VWAP and kind of just do what it wants to do. I think it'll, it'll end up going a little higher. And you see this red line, it's already been mapped out previously. So this is a point of significance to me. As you can see, it reached that level to the point, 98, 94, 95. Uh, is, a, is a very significant level. Um, of course, here is another mapped out where it broke down, 97.42. So we're looking for these points. So if it breaks above this, I'm still in. But right now I'm holding a... 99 call um, It's up 50 percent only bought seven contracts For 10 cents a piece right now. They're all For 15 cents. I think they got up to actually 140 percent. I didn't sell though. So Just want since I bought them so cheap and I didn't really Spend like a hundred bucks on them something close to that. So wasn't really worried about it too much. Just wanted to kind of get a little last-minute trade in for the day. But right now I'm up $35 on that. I'm going to go ahead and close out. Um, take my $35 off the table. Yeah, so today is... August 26, 2022. Glad you guys tuned in to the end. Any questions about stocks? Any questions about developing a strategy that will let you know when's the perfect time to get in and get out? So that way you're not so panicky. Uh, in the markets, like I said, even with all this volatility at the beginning of the day, we utilize the VWAP, which is the volume weighted average price. The multi-day VWAP makes trading super easy once you start to learn setups, certain prices that you know each ticker or symbol tends to trade throughout the day. Uh, small learning curve, but you get it right now. The VIX is skyrocketing. Oh my god! Boom. But you will learn the setups. Uh, if you are interested, email us at support at privateprofitstrading.com. We'll get you started, get your accounts rolling, get you familiar with stocks from the entry level if you need help with that. If you need more advanced help, um, how to use your stop losses, how to put orders in, when's the best time to get in and get out, um, what type of strategies we use. You know, just help you all the way around the board. Got the institutional scanners. We use those. Um, eight straight winners this week with the institutional scanners. Love them. Uh, any questions at all about trading? Here to help you guys. Visit www.privateprofitstrading.com. Um, let's help you breathe in the VWAP. And exhale the noise. One more time. Let's just let's just do it. Do it with me. Breathe in the VWAP. Take a a long, slow breath. 
Mm. Release the noise. Release the noise. All right. Don't need a bunch of lot, a uh, bunch of squiggly lines. Not too many anyway. Just need to know your levels. Roadmap. Figure out what side of the trade to be on. You know, try to keep all the speculation, the emotions out of it. And just do what the chart tells you. Do do it exactly what you're looking at. You know, we don't want to speculate on what we think might happen or any of that. We're just going to look at the chart here today. Okay, what's going on? Broke VWAP. Buy. I'm in. All right. So that's that's what we're doing here. So that's the point of the consistently. We go back to the question on, you know, what? is it why are some people consistent how are you you know reaching your goals how do you actually accomplish that um, so the main thing is let's not focus on our losers let's focus on increasing our PL, our profit and loss um, so if you have a consistent way to identify winning trades you'll never have uh, you'll always have a consistent way to locate and generate income so that's what it is a system or a strategy so to say not really a system but a strategy that allows you to consistently locate and generate income in the market that's what this is so any questions it's friday i hope you guys enjoy the weekend i'm out